Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is your guy, JL. That's Joshua Wendy Stacey. And welcome to the next story. So, the story we read is re Relaxopolis. They said that right. The next story happened where it's no day. So, without further ado, that's so much to say. It's from Blue and the Beast. Have we? Yeah, in uh, January we had um, just the third. So, snow day. Hmm, let's have a read. One cold February day, intent, Belle sat on the windowsill on in her room on the on the dreary castle, sad and homesick, watching the snowflakes swirl outside. She had agreed to remain in a beast and stranded castle in exchange for her father's freedom. How she missed her little home and her dear father. The beast tried to be kind to her, but he was gruff and had such a terrible temper. Born for getting one. Suddenly she jumped, the beast had her beard. Trudging through the snow beneath the window. She thought she was him. Glancing glance quickly at her. But she wasn't certain. What on earth is he doing? She asked out loud. She watched him scoop up an armful of snow and tried to form it into a wall. But it fell apart, throwing snow white in his face. Bill giggled to herself. Why, I think he's trying to build a snowman. The please don't, please don't make me the man. Do you want to build a snowman? No, I said it. But he has no idea how to begin. Next, the beast made a smaller snowball. This one managed to hold together, and he began pushing it around the courtyard. It grew bigger and bigger. Soon it was too big, even a strong beast could hardly move it. Really? Belle watched him struggle to push it, and then suddenly fall headlong over the top of it. His enormous feet kicking vainly in the air. I just at this Bell let out a peal of silvery laughter. Whatever that means. It was the first time she had laughed since she had arrived in the dreary old castle. A few of the servants heard the Bell's laughter and ventured Partially into the hallway outside the room. The two, they too, were under the enchantment and dearly wanted and dearly wanted their master and this beautiful girl to fall in love, as that was the only way to break the spell. Because you know, that's one of the most coolest. Things ever. Just to uh, kiss the guy and then break the spell. Yeah, I think it's the way it's a spell because they just want to kiss your body, you know? Do you, suppose, do you suppose she is starting to like him? Mrs. Potts whispered to Lumia. Oh, I don't know. He yeah, whispered back. I only dare not to hope. But just in case, I must have we are arranged for another romantic dinner for two this evening. He hurried into the in the direction of the kitchen, already thinking about white grass, white grass, bamboo, souffle, and cream brulee. Bell was. The beast slowly climbed to his feet. Gowlin began to roll another snowball. This time he stepped on some ice and fell on his back. With another laugh and delight, Belle jumped to her feet and threw on, on her cloth. And threw on her clo cloak. She raced out of her, out of her room and hurried outside to join a beast in the snow. Um, I guess it's the scene where so, so 
Campanella, the song. She even showed the ability to fascinate the snow angel. The servants all around the snow angel, the worship to show two new friends play in the snow together. Maybe, just maybe, something good was about to happen. Like we never knew the show before. Wow, man, that was a really good story. I mean, I mean, I love Belle. She's a really cute female character, in my opinion. And she's just so likable. And, yeah, I give this story about an 8 out of 10. Not the best story, but it's only a better story. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. And I thought um, it could send a little something there. No one actually had a radio song in this book yet. Not um, the Elephant Lollipop one, because that doesn't count. But um, I'll be uh, surprising to see a song in this book. A song from an actual Disney film. So, hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll leave a link to the film Beauty and the Beast in the description. If you're not sign out, don't forget, Beauty Sandwich.